trouble and you need someone to help you out there's no need to whistle and there's no need to shout hey 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 help is on its way call the koala brothers call the koala brothers call the koala brothers call the koala brothers help is on its way Everyone agreed that George the Turtle was a really good postman. But there was something else he was good at too. George, show us one of your magic tricks. Oh, well, uh, hi, Ned. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm quite busy, actually. Oh, go on, George. Just one trick, please. Oh, all right. <laughs> I suppose one little trick won't hurt. Hey, everyone. George is going to show us a magic trick. Coming right over, Ned. I hope it's a good one. Right. Uh, ah, you'll love this one. <clears throat> a coin. Just a coin, a simple coin. Which hand is it in? This one. I think it's in that one. <laughs> well, what do you know? It's disappeared. Wow. George must have dropped it, that's all. <laughs> and that's magic. It was in your ear all the time, Mitzi. <laughs> Didn't you know? He must have had a spare coin. That's it. No, Mitzi. George is the best magician in the outback. I'll bet he could put on a proper show. Couldn't you, George? Oh, that's uh, very kind, Ned, but... Uh, I'd... Great idea, Ned. <laughs> yeah, but no, actually... What's no. a great idea, Buster? George, performing a magic show for everyone. Now, now, wait a minute. I didn't actually say that. We I could was... have the show here at the homestead. Tonight. Tonight? That's right, George. We'll get on it right away. We're here to help. Yeah, so I understand. Yeah, uh, look, I can't do a show because, um... I, uh, I haven't got an assistant, that's why. And uh, magicians need assistants, it's a, it's, a, it's a well known fact. Maybe Ned could be your assistant. You think? Oh, thanks, George. I'll try not to let you down. Oh, well, uh, maybe a little show then. George was worried. He'd never performed magic tricks on a stage before. He didn't know if he could do it. Ooh. Later, in the post office, George got out his box of magic tricks. I haven't had this little lot out for years. Is this your magic wand, George? Hmm. Uh, probably best not to... Uh, oh! Best be careful, Ned. Uh, magic is full of surprises. I can hear it now, George. Cheering and clapping and... Ned! I oh. hope everyone comes to see us. Ned, that's it. Maybe no one will turn up. Maybe no one will be interested in my magic show. Oh, just heard about the magic show tonight. <laughs> We're all really excited, George. See you there. Thanks, Archie. It's going to be great, George. Well, we'd, uh, we'd better get practising, Ned. Right, Mitzi and Buster, you can tidy up the veranda. It's going to be George's stage. Doesn't look much like a stage. Oh, it just needs some curtains and fairy lights, that's all. Hey, guys, I've made a poster. Look. Nice one, Buster. That'll look great in Sammy's store window. OK, guys, let's get to work. Oh, of course I'll pop it in the window, Frank. It's not often we have a magic show around here. He's even got his own assistant, you know. George is so brave, standing up in front of everyone. Mm. But George certainly didn't feel brave. Things weren't going all that well. I thought I'd use this for the show, George. For when you do your really big trick. Big trick? Yeah. We're going to need something really special to impress Mitzi. Oh, uh, I, I suppose we are. So, what are we going to do, George? Um, big trick. Well, there is one trick. But it's a very tricky trick. Sounds like the one for us, George. Later that evening, everyone was very excited at the homestead. The stage was all set for George's performance. Tonight was magic night. Ooh, I've never seen the magic show before. Well, feast your eyes on George. He's a magical marvel. I like your curtains. Me and Buster made those. <laughs> Hello, everyone.
tonight, you are in for a treat. So just sit back and enjoy George the Magician and his assistant, Ned! Yay! Hello. Um... Hey. Where's George? May I present to you the one and only George the Magician! And here he is, the best magician in the whole outback. George? Oh, where is he? Come on, we're waiting. Do you think we'd better go and see what the problem is, Frank? Good idea, Buster. You won't believe your eyes. Come on, George. I didn't think he'd do it. Keep it going, Ned. Still, mate. Yes, I suppose. Not long now. Till magic time. George the Magician. Hooray! Oh. George, why aren't you on stage? Everyone's oh. waiting. Oh, I'm sorry, but I'm not sure I can do this, guys. I... I love doing my little magic tricks, but a proper show? Gee, every time I think of all those people watching, I just go to pieces. But we thought you wanted to do a magic show, George. No. Well, yes. Well, no, well, I don't know, fellas. What if I get all the tricks wrong? Everyone watching is a friend, George. They all want you to do well. They love your magic tricks. Frank's right. Do you really think I can do it? Sure you can. Oh. I know you can do it, George. You're the best magician in the whole outback. Well, if you put it that way... OK, then. I'll do it. Let's go, Assistant Ned. After you, George the Magician. He's not coming out. Oh, oh what a shame. Look! Sorry for the delay. Welcome to an evening of magic with George the Magician and his loyal assistant, Ned. That's me. Watch. Oh, I say. Now I know who to go to with a runny nose. <laughs> Ooh. Everyone knows they're up his sleeve. Ta -da! Ta da! Now may I have the magic wand, Assistant Ned? The magic wand! Thank you, Assistant Ned. Observe a simple wand. But when I say the magic words, up a gum tree. Ah! Oh, me! <laughs> oh. See a proper magic trick. Aha! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the big trick. <gasps> Assistant Ned, take up your position, please. <laughs> Watch closely. Drum roll, please. <gasps> Ned's vanished. Where is he? Here I Do it, George. Well, I couldn't have done it without you, fellas. And Assistant Ned, of course. We were good, weren't we? You know, Ned, I think we were. So in the end, it really was a magical night. And George realised that with the help of good friends, anything was possible. It's not unusual on a hot sunny day to see Archie the crocodile jogging through town trying to keep fit. But today he seemed to be training even harder than usual. Uh, uh, oh. Hooey, Archie! Ah, morning, Mitzi. Uh, Looking forward to my special tennis tournament, Archie? Uh, oh, of course. 
As you can see, I'm training extra hard. Uh, Keep working ooh. like that and you'll definitely win. Oh, yes. Quite right, Mitzi. <laughs> uh, I can't wait. <laughs> Have you organised everything yet? Nearly. Just a few finishing touches and it'll be done. Yeah. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Splendid. <laughs> anyway, I'd love to stand around and chat, Mitzi, but I must carry on. Time is precious. Only a few days to go. <laughs> OK, Archie. See you later. Bye. It looked like Archie was going to do very well at the tennis tournament, but then... <laughs> ah! Oh! Uh, oh, my ankle! Oh! Archie decided to go back to the shop to get some help. Ooh. Ow! Ow! Oh. Keep polishing like this, Sammy, and soon we'll be able to see our faces in it. Oh, good day, Archie. Oh, hi, Archie. I thought you were training. I was. What can I get you, Archie? Uh, well, actually, um, I wanted to ask Frank and Buster if they, um... Uh, I say, what's that? This? This lovely trophy is the prize for the tennis tournament. You'll need to be pretty fit if you want to win this, beauty. Yes, you're right. Fence a game later, Archie, to practice. Um, uh... Yes, uh, OK. Did you want something, Archie? Yes, uh, I mean, no, no. Uh, are you sure? Archie was worried that if the others found out that he had a sore ankle, they mightn't let him take part in the tennis tournament. Then he'd never win that beautiful trophy. So he pretended his ankle was all right. Um, <laughs> yes, um... <sighs> I... Oh, I forgot what I came in for now. <laughs> oh, oh, well, got to dash. Goodbye. <laughs> Maybe one day soon I'll actually beat you at tennis. I doubt it. OK, to make it fair on you, the first person to score a point wins. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> 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 Oh. Did I win? Ah, I beat you at tennis! Oh, I can't believe it! Just wait till everyone hears about this! Well, it, it was only a one-point match. You didn't, um, actually... Uh, you didn't, um, actually... Yeah. Archie felt a bit sad that he'd lost the match, but he didn't want to say anything about his sore ankle. Hi, Archie. Oh, hello, George. Anything for me? Now, uh, let's have a little look-see. Oh, um, ah. Oh, thanks, George. Are you all right, Archie? I thought you'd be training for Mitzi's tennis tournament. I was. I mean, uh, I am. Oh, you look like you need cheering up. How about a race to the post office? That always cheers you up. <laughs> you always win. Um, oh, OK, then. Later, the Koala brothers were just coming back from their daily patrol. Fill her up, Josie. Uh, to the top, Frank. Right to the top. <clears throat> You're looking cheerful today, Josie. You would be too if you'd been Archie at tennis. <gasps> you? You beat Archie at tennis. Yes! Isn't it just great? <laughs> Hello, all. Hi, Hi, Hi George. Oh, don't suppose you've seen Archie on your travels, have you? No. It's just that I was meant to be meeting him at the post office. We had a race, but uh, it looks like I beat him. Beat him? You beat Archie? Well, I must have. He hasn't showed up yet. There must be something wrong with Archie. We'd better go and find him, see if he's all right. Come on, Buster. The Koala brothers were getting a bit worried about Archie. Josie and George had never beaten him at anything before. I can't see any sign of him. I hope we find him soon. Uh, 
am I glad to see you. You all right, Archie? Uh, uh, uh. Why are you balancing like that? Is there something wrong with your leg? My leg? Uh, no, nothing. No, my leg's fine. I'm fine. <laughs> right. Mm. Come on, Archie. You can tell us. It's all right to admit that your leg's hurt, you know. It's not hurt. See? <laughs> ow! Oh, ow! <laughs> I think you need some help with that ankle, Archie. There you go, Archie. All done. Thanks, Frank. Thanks, Buster. That's OK. After all, we're here to help. Would you like to tell us what happened? Well, it all started this morning when I was training really hard. I tripped over a stone and twisted my ankle. Why didn't you tell someone? Oh, I was going to, but then I saw the tennis trophy that Mitzi was polishing. Oh, it was the best thing I'd ever seen, and I really wanted it. I was worried, you see, that I wouldn't be allowed to take part if you found out that my ankle was bad. But, Archie, the more you pushed yourself, the worse your ankle would have got, and then you would have almost certainly missed the tennis tournament. Ah, I know that now. Hmm, it's all beginning to make sense now. That's why Josie beat you at tennis. And that's why George beat you back to town. Yes. Hmm, I suppose this means I'm not going to be allowed to play now, doesn't it? Hmm. Well, if you get plenty of rest... And promise to take it easy... And you've fully recovered, then you might be able to play. Oh, thanks, Frank. But on one condition. Yes? that you stay with us and put your feet up at the homestead for a few days. All right, it's a deal. We'll have your riders rain in no time. <laughs> so, Archie did what the Koala brothers said and rested his ankle for a few days at the homestead. Hmm. Hmm. How's that drink coming along, Buster? Coming, Archie, coming. And when Mitzi's tennis tournament was held, it was a great success. So in the end, Archie did win the tennis tournament. And that meant he won the beautiful tennis trophy after all. Yay! And Archie realised that if you don't feel well, it's important to tell somebody. <laughs> Once you've rested for a while, you'll feel better and be up and about stronger than ever.